Hello everyone, my name is Gabby Jones. I am a consultant at Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all of the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today, we're gonna to be discussing an interesting concept in data encryption technology, which is certificate management. We will learn about digital certificates and how they work. We will also go over the basics of certificate management and its life cycle. Finally, uh, we'll go over why every company should implement certificate management. Here is our introduction to certificate management. It is a key component in the data protection landscape. In certificate management, digital certificates form the core part. Digital certificates are used across the internet to authenticate users exchanging data with one another. Since every legitimate website uses a certificate, certificate management is extremely important. If a certificate were to be stolen and misused, an attacker could pose as another more legitimate source and infect a user with malware via their website. The expiration of a certificate can result in an outage, causing an organization to lose out on potential customers. These are, these are just a few more reasons um, to learn more about certificate management. So let's go into uh, what it is specifically. Certificate management is the process of monitoring, processing, and executing every process in a certificate's lifestyle. Certificate management is responsible for issuing, renewing, and deploying certificates to endpoints, servers, appliances, devices, etc., so that network services are uninterrupted. Certificate management should also automate tasks, issuing, renewal, and so on, as well as provide real-time status of the infrastructure of the network. Certificate management helps manage the network and prevent interruptions and downtime while providing a detailed monitoring of the whole infrastructure. Good certificate management plans should be able to handle any network, even ones with thousands of devices. If a certificate expires or is misconfigured, catastrophic outages all over the network may occur. What is a digital certificate? Digital certificates play crucial roles in certificate management. Any discussion of certificate management would be incomplete without explaining what a digital certificate is. A certificate, also known as an SSL TLS certificate, is a digital identifier for users, devices, and other endpoints within a network. Certificates are linked with a public-private key pair and verify that the public key, which is matched with a valid certificate, can be trusted. The main job of a certificate is to ensure that data sent across the connection between a user and a server is kept private. The certificates do this by encrypting and decrypting as it's sent across the connection, this is achieved through something called an SSL TLS handshake. Typically, any digital certificate has to go through four different phases in its life cycle. Each phase includes unique requirements and organizations have to be in full control of each phase in order to achieve successful certificate management. Discovery. Discovery is the first stage of the certificate lifestyle. In the discovery phase, the network is scanned for missing expired or unusable certificates. This phase also uh, ensures any certificates already in place have been deployed properly. Certificates with vulnerabilities and other weaknesses can also be detected and fixed or replaced. The different certificates are commonly inventoried together in this phase to allow for tracking of certificate statuses or grouping of related certificate types. Enrollment. In this stage, the CA creates the certificate itself, or the user purchases a certificate from a trusted CA. The key pair for the certificate is created and the public key, CSR, and personally identifiable information are sent to the CA for certificate creation. If an organization or user does not have or does not wish to create a chain of trusted CAs, a certificate is purchased instead of being created. Then you have maintenance. Um, this phase majorly includes certificate installation, storing, and monitoring, just an ideal maintenance of the certificate. Then, uh, I don't believe it's on our slides, but we have installation. This stage deals with the distribution and installation of the certificate in its proper place. All, All aspects of the certificate's configuration are checked in the installation phase, including the key pairs, the cipher suites, and the digital signature. 
The certificate is then installed onto appropriate endpoints um, that it was created for. Storing. One of the most important stages of the certificate lifecycle is the storing phase. Certificates must be accessible but not reusable by attackers. Thus, they must be kept in a secure and centralized location. The storing phase can also inventory the certificates into groups if inventorying was not done in the discovery phase. Monitoring. This is the longest phase where the certificates are monitored throughout the duration of their expiration period. Once the expiration date is reached, or sometimes right before, certain certificate management systems will automatically renew certificates. If automatic certificate management systems are not being used, then a system administrator will need to monitor the network certificates and renew, revoke, or replace any certificate that reaches its expiration date. End of life, RRR. End of life uh, for a certificate can lead to any one of the Rs that was previously mentioned, renewal, revocation, or replacement. The renewal process of certificates begins once the validity of the certificate has run out. Once the user or automated system decides to renew the certificate, a CSR is resent to the original issuing CA to get the certificate renewed. The process occurs as it did with originally creating the certificate, but much more quickly. Revocation. If the issuing CA has to be decommissioned, a certificate is being misused or for a host of other reasons, uh, then a certificate can be revoked. Once revoked, a certificate is placed on a certificate revocation list or CRL, if a CRL is in use. A CRL is a list of certificates revoked by the CA that should no longer be trusted. If an issuing CA's certificate is on a CRL, then that CA cannot be used in a chain of trust for other CAs or certificates. A downside to using CRLs is that revoked certificates are only published periodically, not every time a certificate is revoked. This issue means a user could renew their certificate with their issuing CA, even though a few hours ago their certificate was revoked for illegitimate usage. Replacement. If a CA certificate is revoked or if the certificate owner wishes to move on from paid certificates to their own public key infrastructure, then the replacement phase occurs. This occurs less often as it is easier to just renew a certificate with the original issuing CA. The certificate lifestyle is not set in stone. Different organizations will have different stages, combined stages, or they will leave out entire stages completely. As long as the certificates are discovered, created, stored, monitored, and renewed, then that is considered a certificate life cycle. One of the most important reasons to have a strong certificate management system is if you have your own PKI. A PKI is an infrastructure created to authenticate users based on digital certificates and encrypt communications. The most common PKI is TLS SSL, which uses both symmetric and asymmetric encryption in securing connections between two users. Another reason that so much importance is put into certificate management is the need for every device and user that is connected to the internet to have a digital certificate. Whenever a user or a device connects to a website, the authenticity of their digital certificate is checked along with the certificate of the website. However, if a certificate is invalid or expired, the user or device that certificate belongs to cannot go to most websites as a secure connection cannot be established. The same holds true for website certificates. If their digital certificate is invalid, users will not or cannot use that website as they fear of getting malware um, or viruses on their device. One more reason to ensure strong certificate management is to avoid data breaches in the organization. Untrusted certificates can lead to hackers stealing sensitive information from the organization. Also, if the certificates are not stored properly, then an attacker could steal that certificate and pose as a legitimate user while stealing, changing, or deleting sensitive data. This is going to conclude our discussion on certificate management. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about encryption in detail, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if any confusion arises or if you simply want more details. Thank you.